Hello everybody, this is Cinema Cody, and it is Book Suggestion Saturday. I actually um, straightened my hair today. I know it's still kind of crazy, but that's the way I roll. But I straightened it so it's like glossy-ish. Now I jacked it all up. Okay. And I'm wearing makeup. I did a face mask. Still didn't help with the acne, but you know, that's probably here to stay forever. I'll probably be like 90 years old and I'll have acne. That's the way I am. It's because I drink Pepsi all the time. If I stop drinking Pepsi, there's been times when I went like, you know, a month or two or whatever and went off of all pop and my skin was gorgeous. And I got so many compliments, but, you know, it's like, gonna, gonna hurt. You gotta have it. Mmm. Pepsi. It's so delicious that I drink it even though it gives me acne and makes me fat. Get one. Okay, <clears throat> I moved my lamp, so I think it's better now, because it was driving me crazy. I can't see, because I keep looking at it, and now I'm getting blind spots, like, oh, that's not good. I just have to not look at it, but there's not as much, like, shadow action going on, because I have a lot of big shadows and things. I think it's better Move the Clorox. It was a little close to the bright light. I don't know what that would do. Look at my little unicorn. Isn't it cute? <laughs> okay. So, focus. Focus. I wrote notes down a little bit. The book I'm going to talk about today... Is a book I just got off of Amazon, I believe. Was it Amazon or eBay? I can't remember now. I think it was Amazon. It doesn't matter. I bought it online. River Rose and the Magical Lullaby by Kelly Clarkson. Little picture book and there's Kelly Clarkson on the back looking flipping gorgeous gorgeous in that picture I showed him this picture and I said this is Kelly Clarkson she's a singer and she's really cool and she wrote this book and it's about her daughter stuff like that and I was like isn't she beautiful and at first she was like oh she's really pretty and then she was like but her hair is awful. Her hair's all messy and bleh. It's like her hair is gorgeous. It's just like windblown, you know. And she was like, mm, "I don't, I don't agree with you." So yeah, M didn't approve, <clears throat> but M did like the book. She seemed to enjoy it. And it's illustrated by Laura Hughes, which with, you know, picture books like this, the illustrator is just as important as the writer, because that's kind of the main thing that the book is about, is the beautiful illustrations. Grammy award winning artist. Oh, that, that would be Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> I was thinking, I, I read artist and I thought it was the illustrator, but artist means music artist, Kelly Clarkson. Okay, so I read this book and I said to myself, I knew that Kelly Clarkson had a daughter and a son. Um, and I watch her, her talk show from time to time or I catch clips on YouTube 
mostly because I don't really watch regular TV that much. I mostly watch YouTube. <clears throat> so I was like, I think I remember her daughter's name was River at least. Possibly River Rose. So I guess she just named the character of the book after her daughter. Maybe it is actually literally written about her daughter. You know what I mean? Makes sense. <sighs> but I couldn't remember for sure. But I looked it up and sure enough, her daughter is River Rose Blackstock. And then she has a son named Remington Alexander Blackstock. And River Rose was born 2016, I think. I'm trying to do math in my head. It's pretty sad. So <laughs> she's six years old. M was born in 2017. Um, barely. <coughs> So, and she's five. So I was like, try to do math and stuff. I'm horrible at math. It was my worst subject in school. And I ha hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. Okay. <clears throat> so this book <clears throat> was published in 2016, which I thought was kind of odd. Because, you know, in the pictures, she's like, she's older Maybe like, I don't know if it says in here how old she is, but I would guess maybe three years old or something by her size. And she wrote it when she was probably pregnant or right after having her baby. She wrote this book about her being bigger, you know, older, I thought that was kind of strange. You know, you would think you would write about them at the time, like when her daughter was older, maybe a little bit three or four years old or something, she would write this book, not when she was either pregnant with her or just had her. I don't know how long it took her to write the book, but I would think it would take some time to get everything going. So I would think she'd probably be pregnant with her or something when she wrote it. But I don't know. I also learned that there's another book uh, that I didn't know about River Rose and the Magical Christmas, which came out in 2017. So she had a Christmas book with also about her daughter. So I'll have to check that out sometime. Um, this just popped up on my Amazon. Um, like it just kind of suggested it to me on Amazon, I think. Um, I've been looking at a lot of celebrity books. There's a children's book by uh, Channing Tatum that I added to my wish, wish list, my book wish list. I have a lot of different wish lists on Amazon. I have them in categories because I have so many things. I'm like movies, books, uh, stuff for M, uh, gift ideas, <laughs> like just random other things <laughs> that I like, like makeup and clothes and accessories and things, you know, all of that. Anyways, it just suggested it to me and I thought it was like a recent book that she had just done. I was like, man, that girl is doing everything. She is so busy. I mean, she's an amazing singer. I don't know when she put out her last album, but she's she was like on American Idol. She's come back and done like performances on American Idol. She was like a judge on The Voice. She has her own talk show now. She's like, she's just, she's like appearing on different, all these different places. And then I've been seeing commercials lately for this new show that's coming out Monday, I believe, um, with her and Snoop Dogg, they're going to be hosting this music competition thing, which is where 
I don't know how many from each state they have or if it's just like one performer from each state. But they're having all 50 states of the United States. They all have like a performer from each state and they're all competing to see which state wins the best like singer, I believe. So I don't know if it's like one person. They Maybe they had like auditions in each state, kind of like American Idol, found the best one they thought for that state to represent that state. And then all 50 of those will come together. And I thought it was a cool idea. I'm, I hope, I don't know if I'll be able to watch it when it actually airs on regular TV, but I hope there's a way for me to watch it somewhere. I don't know how, but because I just don't catch regular TV when it happens because I got so much stuff going on, you know. I used to do that when I was like a kid and a teenager. It's like, oh, it's six o'clock on Tuesday. I got to watch my show, you know, but not anymore. Now it's just like, eh, I'll binge watch it on Netflix sometime, but not right now. I'll watch it later, you know. The world has changed. Anyways, I'm not here to talk about TV. But also, <clears throat> I've been seeing a lot of reactions to her Kelly Clarkson song, Piece by Piece. And I wish I could have reacted to that, but I just, I don't, I think I've heard it in the past. And I just, here lately, I... I don't remember who I watched first, but somebody, some music reactor I um, follow reacted to it and I got caught up in it and I was just bawling my eyes out. Um, her live performance, um, it's on American Idol. She She's pregnant at the time with her son. Um, I don't know how old he is. I didn't write it down. <laughs> I didn't research that. <laughs> Anyways. She was pregnant at the time with her son and she performed this very emotional song called Piece by Piece um, that she wrote about her dad and her husband at the time, which I think I heard that they got divorced, but I'm not for sure. Um, but yeah, so if you haven't seen that, look it up and watch it. I've seen... Probably five or six different reactors react to it in the past week or so. And I bawl and cry my eyes out every single time. But I'm just like, I want to watch somebody else watch it. I want to watch somebody else watch it for the first time. Come on. I, it's like a drug. I want to watch more people watch it. So this book is about a girl, River Rose, which that's her daughter's name, Kelly Clarkson's daughter's name. Oh, what I was going to look up and I forgot. She has a dog in the book. She has a pet dog in the book named Joplin, which is a very unique name. And I was wondering if Kelly Clarkson had a, if they actually had a dog named Joplin in their family. I would assume they would. That's kind of a weird thing to make up. Or maybe her daughter has a stuffed animal named Joplin. But Joplin is a, the name of a city in Missouri, I believe. Is it Joplin, Missouri? Joplin, Oklahoma? Joplin, Missouri. Yeah, Joplin, Missouri. Yeah. It's from my neck of the woods. So I was like, Joplin? What? I think Kelly lives in Nashville, Tennessee. And I think she's originally from Texas. I'm not for sure, though. But, yeah, the illustrations are super cute. It's her and Joplin dancing around. And then she's excited because she's going to go to the zoo the next day. And she has to go to bed and it's hard to go to sleep. Um, so her mom sings her this song to go to sleep to. That's kind of looks like Kelly. <laughs> cute and my daughter loved the song I could tell she was like mom 
Can you just read me the song again? Can you sing it? And I cannot sing at all. But she was like, you have the prettiest singing voice, mom, mom. And I was like, what? <laughs> okay, sure. But it's like, every night you lie with me. When I wake, you're still here. I don't know if I ever could find someone as kind and dear. No one gets me like you do. You can tell by my smile. I'm going to miss you so much while you sleep, but know that I'm by your side. I don't know how you're supposed to sing it. I don't know what the rhythm of it is. It seems like it's not very flowy, but I don't know how you're supposed to sing it exactly. I'm sure if Kelly Clarkson is singing it to you, it sounds amazing. So then she kind of, she's going to sleep. Her mom's singing her to sleep. And then she hears a sound outside her window. And it's some balloons. And she like goes after them and she floats away. Very pretty, really pretty sky. Like sunsetty sky picture. And then she goes to the zoo and she plays with the animals, singing, dancing, craziness. Parties with the animals, the elephants sprinkle water on her head. Um, the she slides down the hill with the giraffe and the zebras and the penguins like the penguin exhibit she skips lily pads with the frogs and the otters and the hippos and she has ice cream with the lemurs and the monkeys and rides the carousel and all the zooey stuff she hangs out with the polar bears. They say that they're going to sleep. So she snuggles in with the polar bears and sings them the lullaby again. Then she is shown in her bed with the balloons floating above. So you're to assume that it was all a dream, perhaps. There's stuffed animal, elephants, and penguin, and there's a poster of the zoo animals on the wall and everything. She's thinking about the zoo. It's a cute book. It's a short picture book. The pictures are really pretty, and I thought the story was good. It's kind of fitting because me and Em went to the zoo yesterday. Was there, or no, was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. <laughs> I got the days mixed up. Because I'm filming, because I'm filming this on Friday. And I'm posting it tomorrow, Saturday. Um, But yesterday, which was Thursday, we went to the zoo. This was spring break week, <laughs> Monday through Friday. She was out of school. And I didn't work for like four days too, luckily. So <clears throat> I was very lazy and just not doing anything. And I was kind of putting off, I thought about planning a trip, getting, you know, like a hotel or a bed and breakfast somewhere. I was thinking of going somewhere about three to four hours away or so, planning a trip for a day or two with M, just me and M. But I was lazy, putting off, planning stuff, and it's like, eh, I don't really have to do that. I could just do something close by. It's whatever. And I just was lazy. <laughs> And then I was kind of putting off, I thought maybe I'd go to the zoo Friday, but 
But Thursday, my dad was like, the weather's supposed to be bad t- tomorrow. And Thursday was like beautiful weather. Like the best weather we've had in a long time. It was p- gorgeous, perfect weather. It was like one o'clock p.m. And you know, when you go to the zoo, you I would normally wake up early and go like right when they open so you can have the whole time that they're open to to do stuff have as much time as possible because time goes by fast at the zoo and the zoo that's near our house is pretty big and pretty cool um so yeah it was like 1 p.m and I was like eh, uh, uh, okay let's do it <laughs> I was like M, come on get dressed let's go let's go <laughs> we quickly got dressed grabbed a backpack threw some snacks in it threw water bottles in it um, I got some cash from her piggy bank and I was like, if I spend any of it, I'll pay it back. I didn't spend any of the cash because luckily every place took cards nowadays, but it used to be, you'd have to have cash for things like the train ride and the carousel and snacks or whatever, food or whatever. But I didn't end up having to spend any of it. So I put it back in the piggy bank. So they closed at five, it took 30 minutes to get there. We ended up having three hours to quickly do stuff. We didn't get to see everything. We just, I, I thought about filming it, filming a bunch of stuff while we were there and doing a, a YouTube video, but I filmed for a second in the car. I was like, Ooh, we're at the zoo. And then after that, it's just, I took, I was just taking pictures. I just took a bunch of pictures. Um, and didn't really film much, just a couple tiny little snippets and a bunch of pictures and it just, it wasn't anything to make a video out of. So I'm not going to, but it allowed us to just kind of take a load off and just, you know, don't have to make a video about everything. Um. And it was fun, even though it was rushed. And I wish we could have seen everything, but we can always go back and go the other direction and make sure we see all those other things first before we see those other things. <laughs> we saw quite a lot. We saw giraffes, elephants, uh, tiger, snakes. Uh, we didn't see the penguins. We skipped the penguins and the sea lions. And we skipped the lions. And couldn't go to like one or two of the, vi- the buildings because they were like closed. They had signs saying blocked entrance. Maybe there was another entrance. I don't know. I didn't want to go in circles too many times. And we went on the train round trip around tr- the train and but we didn't go on the carousel it was very long lines it was super super crowded and busy uh we were waited in the in the line to get into the zoo for a very long time then once we got in there's the train station thing the line was just like shh and we saw my daughter's teacher. She was there. I was like, is that your teacher? And she's like, yes, it is. And she was so excited because she hasn't seen her in a while because it's spring break. And she loves her teacher. And and I think her teacher likes her too. So it's like, let's wait on the train. There's another train. Like there's one at the entrance and there's one on the other side of the zoo. And you can either get a one, like, um, you can either get a one-way ticket to just go from one to the other, or you can get a round trip where you go all the way around. So when we got to the other one on the other side of the zoo, we got a round trip ticket and went all the way around and then got off. <laughs> and then we saw the snakes or we went into this building where there was birds, like, or like one half of it was birds, all kinds of birds, flamingos and parrots and stuff like that. The other half was monkeys 
on like one side and then snakes and li lizards and turtles and things in like little aquarium glass things on the other side. And so we quickly, like we had to go to the bathroom anyway, so we went in the bathroom in that building and went and saw everything and then we had like probably 40 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes left before closing. And M wanted to play on the playground most of all. So she, I went and let her play on the playground. I was like, I'm not paying like 20 bucks for you to play on a playground. We got lots of free playgrounds around the house. So let's look at the zoo animals and all the zoo stuff first as much as we can. And then the last 30 minutes or so, you can play on the playgrounds. <laughs> Which is probably, she would be fine with just going straight in the zoo and playing on the playground. And that's it, probably. We didn't get to go in the tropical rainforest, though. And that's one of my favorites. They have this really cool tropical rainforest uh, building thing that's like a giant greenhouse. It has a ceiling that goes way high and there's just, it's like vines and jungly. It's so cool. It's really warm in there and muggy, which is kind of gross, but there's like little frogs, little like poison dart frogs and there's sloths just like hanging down sometimes like right by your head and there's like big parrots that talk and stuff that just are like right by your head that everything's just kind of roaming around free in there like flying around and it's like within reach there'll be like a big turtle walking around and um just animals just running loose in there you know butterflies and and pretty it's just like a little tropical rainforest you walk through it's pretty cool and then you go through there and there's, then there's like the desert stuff and we didn't see any of that like desert. We went into one building that was like cold Arctic stuff, but they used to have a polar bear there and it died years ago. And so they weren't able to get another polar bear. I guess they're really hard to get. So they got just some kind of brown bear or grizzly bear or some kind of, I don't know what kind of bear it is, but it's brown and it's in there now, but they drained like a lot of the water. Cause they used to have this big water thing where it had a window that you could look under the water and the water was like way high above your head. Now the water is like really low and it looks all murky and gross and it's just, it looked way cooler as a polar bear exhibit and it went well with all the Arctic stuff. The penguins are there and whatnot. And <clears throat> now it doesn't look as good. So check out that book by Kelly Clarkson, like subscribe, check out my other videos, <laughs> um, make comments. This is going to be a fun one to edit because it's 30 minutes long and I did not want it to be 30 minutes long. I thought this will be just like a quick little 10 minute video. Nope. Because I just kept talking and talking and talking. Anyways, have a nice day.